Hi, I'm your host, Caleb Lawrence, and this is The Market Bull, April 8, 2020. The major averages were able to hold on to their early gains, closing with a solid advance on little news of substance. Economic data continues to fall off a cliff, the most notable example of late being auto sales based on anecdotal dealer traffic. The Mortgage Bankers Association reports that mortgage activity fell 17.9% last week as refi slipped 19.4% while purchase amps dropped 12.2%. The 30-year jumbo rate increased fractionally to 3.87%. On a year-ago basis, this series is mixed with refi is coming in significantly higher than purchase apps and purchase apps a little lower despite very low interest rates from a historical perspective. That said, the mortgage market is clearly tightening up while the COVID-19 virus continues to demonstrate that it is extremely bad for business. The composite leading indicators fell 0.8 points in March to 98.8, a nine-month low. Large declines were seen across Europe and for the G20 countries in general as the COVID-19 virus continues to decimate the global economy. So far, the pace at which economic growth has slowed and unemployment has risen is unprecedented in the modern macroeconomic record, and I fear that this is just the beginning. The entity that publishes this series delayed its release and cautioned that it has become a coincident as opposed to leading indicator in the current environment. They also went on to note in the accompanying press release that all of the major economies except India were in a sharp downturn. India was just in a downturn. This compares to the stable or moderately expanding characterization of the economic and business cycle prior to the COVID-19 downturn. The Standard & Poor's 500 index closed today at 2,749.98, up 90.57, while the Nasdaq finished the day at 8,090.90, up 203.64. Gold ended trading at $1,679.50 an ounce, down $4.20. This is Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor. I can be reached directly, 831-334-5318, or stop by my office, 5321 Scotts Valley Drive and Willis Road in the Scotts Valley Plaza, Suite 202, Scotts Valley, California, 95066. Additional writings and other entries are also available on my blog at www.clinvestments.com. Advisory services are offered through Caleb Lawrence, Registered Investment Advisor, Inc., and with that, you're up to date.